What does the sun taste like? There's an answer, but it's complicated. For one thing, there's no way you could get close enough to the sun to taste it. A million miles away, you'd be vaporized. But if you could get right up next to the sun with your mouth intact and somehow manage to hover at licking distance instead of plummeting into the surface because, uh, gravity, then what would it taste like? Nothing, it's too hot. The sun's superheated atoms are ionized, which means that all their electrons have been stripped off. And you kind of need electrons for chemical reactions, like tasting. But if you could, I don't know, scoop out a little bit of the sun and put it somewhere it wouldn't burn a hole through long enough to cool, then what would it taste like? Okay, the sun is mostly made of hydrogen and helium, which wouldn't really have a taste. But it also has trace amounts of elements like carbon, silicon, magnesium, and iron, which would probably taste metallic, and sulfur, which is what gives rotten eggs and farts their smell. So you still want to taste it? Please don't. It's dangerous.